Hi guys, so um, in my last tutorial I told you I'd be teaching you how to use Gumby um, the more advanced way with some of the uh, cooler things like the Claymate tool, um, SAS, um, making it more semantic with some mix-ins and stuff, getting into some of these like extensions, um, like parallax scrolling, things like that. So um, let's get started. In this first part I'm going to show you how to use Claymate and uh, why it's cool and what it's good for. Um, so first you need a few things to install Claymate and to use it, but it's, it's cool because like with Claymate, um, you, you can just create projects on the fly. Like you don't have to go, um, to gumbyframework.com and click on customize and pick out all the things that you want, all the things you don't want and, you know, change all the colors and stuff like that. You can just say, um, uh, Claymate install and it'll install Gumby uh, to whatever directory you're in. Um, and what it does is it, it uh, uses a package manager called Bower to go grab Gumby and then it, it'll make directories and copy stuff from uh, the Bower directories to um, to those new directories and the Bower components which is um, how Bower does its package managing stuff, I'll explain that here in a second, but the Bower components they basically um, like they're they're safe the ones that are important for Gumby so why that's cool is um, you can like make like an entire website and then later on you can go and just uh, update those Bower components to get like um, Gumby's like most recent uh, changes and stuff like that like core Gumby stuff so like it won't break your website whenever you update um, now for like big changes and stuff like you know um, like say whenever they upgrade to uh, right now they're in uh, version 2.5 whenever they upgrade to like 3 or something like that then uh, it might you might need to be more careful about that but in general it makes upgrading a lot easier and uh, just managing all of your assets a lot easier um, so first what we need to do is uh, to do npm install claymate npm is nodes package managing system um, you should have Node.js and be using NPM anyway, but in case you're not, um, go to nodejs.org, click install, run through the installation. Well, it's just kind of like a web design standard thing. Like if you don't have Node.js and NPM installed on your system, then uh, just trust me, you want it. So go get it. Um, and then open up your terminal or command prompt and type in uh, NPM install uh, and then pass it the G flag. And here it doesn't say the the G flag, but if you pass it the G flag, it'll install it globally. So uh, you can use Claymate anywhere in your system. So install globally, Claymate, and then it'll, NPM will run through here, install Claymate and all of its dependencies. So um, like yeah, up here, you see Bower's a dependency, Uglify.js, um, just all kinds of dependencies and stuff. Um, once it gets all that, then we can type in uh, Claymate and it'll show us all the help for it, like all the usage options for it. Um, but let's go ahead, we're gonna need Bower. Um, actually, I, no, I, it installed Bower for us, yeah. So we're, we don't need Bower, we just do that. We just do Claymate or uh, npm install uh, g Claymate, dash g Claymate. All right. So now we can use Claymate. Um, so let's just create um, a directory here. Say Dropbox, go to Sandbox, and make directory Gumby Foony. <laughs> okay, let's let's delete that directory and spell it right. Gumby Fun. That's what I meant to type. Okay, let's clear the screen forget that error ever happened and we'll CD into Gumby fun okay so now we're in our Gumby fun folder there's nothing in it um, and now all we have to do is type claymate install and wait a few minutes not even a few minutes just a few seconds and now if we look we've got all these folders in here so let's open this up in sublime text um, so you see we've got this Bower components folder with Gumby in it. Um, any Bower component you install, like for instance, if we said 
uh, thou are installed jQuery. It would just install uh, jQuery side by side here. Yeah, so you see it created that folder. And, it, and what it does is just, it just grabs the, uh, the GitHub repo of these um, folders. And then uh, you're able to include certain files and stuff from these uh, folders within your project. What, uh, what Gumby does, like let's go ahead and delete this uh, jQuery one. What Gumby does is uh, here in their index file, you can see like some of the stuff they include is directly from the Bower Components uh, folder. So that means you, know, you can update uh, this Bower Components um, Gumby and it'll update like these uh, JavaScript uh, files and uh, things of that nature. So that's why they're doing it with Bower and I think it's a good idea. But a lot of times Bower will cause like a lot of like uh, uh, clutter and stuff to get into your, uh, into your project. Um, so they go ahead and do like a lot of the groundwork for you of just copying out the folders that are relevant and creating empty folders so that uh, these big libraries and stuff can compile directly into this empty folder or directly into these uh, real bare bone minimum folders here. So really like this, this from the CSS folder down, that's your Gumby project. Uh, the, the Bower components, those are just components, you know, those are just like JavaScript libraries, things like that. Um, so, let's close up some of these folders here. And close up that, and close up all that. Okay. So, um, you may have noticed also, whenever we were looking at these Bower components, there's a lot of JavaScript being loaded here. Like a lot of different JavaScript files. And, um, it's okay, but if you know how to use Claymate, you don't have to have all these different HTTP requests. You can just have um, like a few HTTP, HTTP requests. So um, right now we're loading up like Retina, Fixed. These are all called modules, all these, uh, these UI things. And uh, they just add like, um, like UI script stuff. So, you know, like... Um, checkbox will you know give you the ability to have pretty checkboxes uh, same thing with radio button tabs will give you some cool like little uh, jQuery tabs um, but it's like if you're not going to use all these then you can like you know either you can comment them out just in case you might want to use it or you can just delete it if you know you're never going to use tabs you know let's say we're never going to use all that stuff or you can just delete all this stuff and um, then you can use Claymate to build the, uh, the modules and add-ons and things like that all into one minified uh, JavaScript folder or uh, file. Um, and one of the things is like, uh, also with this is like, you know, you have to load up these modules and stuff after um, this gumby.js file and before this init.js file. So I mean, like it just it becomes kind of a pain in the butt. So let's open up uh, Gumby.json, and uh, this is Claymate's like uh, it's a JSON file, like where like all the settings and stuff for it are. Um, so here, like it shows you where it's going to build to. So whenever we run Claymate build, it's going to build um, from the Gumby path, Bower components Gumby. So it'll go in here, and then it'll start like sifting through these folders and stuff, looking for cool things to, uh, to build. Um, and then the out path is uh, JS. So um, so basically it'll go into Bower Components, Gumby, JS, and then start like finding folders and files and stuff through there and minifying them into uh, our JS folder. But only the ones that we specify. So if we go over here to um, the Claymate uh, page, uh, we click. We did installation. There's some configuration stuff where you can do this by the command line, and you can specify Gumby path and stuff by the command line. But you know, why do that whenever you can do it with uh, JSON, and then just ha always have that file and just automatically build like that. So that's what we're going to do instead. Um, so here's modules. So here's just some example modules. 
So for instance, right now, if we just ran um, claimate build, it's gonna build like all this, all this stuff, like everything it sees. Um, I, be I believe that maybe every, like all the UI components anyway. Yeah, because this is all like almost like vendor stuff, like jQuery modernizer. So in the UI, I'm, I'm thinking that, yeah, yeah, it's just building all of the UI components in the lives folder. So we don't want, like, let's say that we don't want to use navbar, or like, let's say we don't want to use radio button, retina. We're not going to use skip link. We're not going to use tabs. We're not going to use validation. So the only ones that we're going to use, um, the only modules that we're going to use are um, fixed, navbar, skip link, and toggle switch. Okay. So the way we do that is we'll make an array uh, and then we'll tab over there and now we'll just start adding in uh, the names of these. So we want fixed and we'll put a comma after it and then we want um, navbar. We want I think just toggle switch Oops. and toggle switch. Okay, now if we save that and now let's run claymate build. Now you see just we just cut like all of our JavaScript in half basically. Um, the other cool thing is if we go over here and we look at um, this actual minified file, or uh, if we look at our index here, now we can get rid of like this init because it's been compiled in there. Um, you see. And we can get rid of uh, Gumby CS or the Gumby JS up here. And since we're not loading half of half of these, and the ones that we are loading are already uh, concatenated and minified into this min file, we can just get rid of all this junk. And whoosh, we killed it. All right. And now we need to actually include this uh, our uh, JavaScript that's been minified. And I don't believe that it's in libs no it's not so let's just delete that libs right there uh, delete that in comma just put it right there okay so now what's going to happen is whenever we uh, load up our page um, claimate build has made this minified version of like all of our javascript that we wanted and it's uh it's added it in before our plugins and before main js so in plugins um you know, Bower Components, JS plugins. So yeah, here's just uh, like some plugins and some place where maybe you can put uh, your custom JavaScript. Maybe you don't want to put your custom JavaScript in this Bower Components folder at all though. Maybe you should just uh, have like a script tag that's like a custom.js or you know something like that or app.js. And then uh, create a new file here called custom js, and then you know just import that last or something. Okay, that's probably a better practice than putting uh, your JavaScript up there in Bower components. Okay, so the other thing that you can do with um, Claymate is um, is use add-ons. So something that Gumby didn't want to include in all of their um, project creations and stuff like that are like these uh, these big JavaScript um, libraries, which um, extensions and add-ons are synonymous. They're they're the same exact thing. So um, whenever you're working with Claymate, they're called add-ons. Whenever you're here in documentation, they're called extensions. Um, and basically, they just didn't want to include like all this JavaScript, you know, because not everybody's going to need responsive images. Um, but I mean, it's pretty cool. Like you suddenly get access to be able to say uh, some of these like Gumby attributes where you can say, you know, serve this image at this size, you know, um, shuffle does some cool stuff where, you know, at certain widths, you want to display it in like, you know, that order. So basically it's just source ordering made uh, incredibly easy with like a Gumby attribute. Um, parallax, you know, it's got the cool parallax thing. You can see the, the poster there touching the bottom. And then if we scroll up, you know what parallax is. Okay. 
So that's the one we're going to work with because everybody loves parallax and they love it whenever it's like really dramatic and harsh and just pew. So whenever it's subtle, people don't like subtle parallax. They want it to be powerful. So the way to install that is uh, to go to just copy that Bower install Gumby parallax and I'll just paste that because typing's for losers. Okay. So now if we go into Bower Components, we can see we've got another folder here, Gumby Parallax, that has the repo of Gumby Parallax in it. Also has the JavaScript file and the SAS file. So what we need to do is um, to open up our Gumby JSON file again, and where this is an add-on, uh, we say add-ons. And then again, even if you're just doing one, you have to make it an array. And this time though, add-ons aren't aren't things that are like built in to Gumby. So like the things that are modules that are built in, you can just refer to them by name. The add-ons aren't. You have to refer to them by path. So we'd have to do Bower components, Gumby Parallax, Gumby.parallax.js. And remember what I taught you earlier that uh, typing sucks. <gasps> yeah, typing sucks. So we'll go over to Claymate, go down here to the very bottom, and Go down to the, almost the very bottom where it says add-ons. Yay. And now we'll just copy all that. And put it right there into this array. Okay. So now whenever we build, it's going to find the add-on, the, uh, the parallax add-on. And it'll concatenate and minify that as well. So we'll do claymate build. And there you go, you see? It has added it. So now our concatenated and minified thing has all the stuff that we could need to make a cool site with fixed navigation, a nav bar, um, toggles and switches, and parallax scrolling. So that's that's the gist of Claymate. Um, it can do some other cool stuff, but um, I don't know. It gets kind of abstracted and weird at some point, but I don't know. It's it's really powerful. It's Pretty cool, so use it.